Hey everyone, so today is January 26, going to day 17, carnivore diet, steel fin grade as always. Uh, I did make the cooking video today, pretty excited about that. I'm going to add it at the end of this clip. Um, another exciting news, I updated my Instagram page and uh, put my first carnivore picture and kind of switched over my whole profile So, because I wanted to. So the idea was I wanted to get at least further than two weeks into this diet before I really wanted to be more open about it. Uh, I've been doing the, the vlogs and videos every day, you know, to start the journey, but now that I'm coming up to three weeks and want to continue and hopefully want to be, you know, a positive influence into this or maybe, you know, someone that can like put positive information out and try to, you know, be in a good movement, you know, because the further I get into this, there's a lot of, gosh, crazy uh, crazy people out there. If anybody doesn't really watch any Sean, of, uh, Sean Baker's videos, I watched one of his recent videos today and watched a mother liquidate grass out of her front yard and drink it and then give it to her children. I mean, that, I, I don't really know what to say about that. I mean, good luck, I guess, you know, like, what do you do with that? I don't know. That's 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 a new one to me. Uh, so gonna put the end. Of, gonna put the cooking video at the end of this. It's kind of a little. Um, uh, let me think how to word this. So I filmed it on my Go, on my GoPro, and um, thanks to my mom for uh, helping me out with uh, cutting up the chicken wings and getting everything done. I was going to do a lamb recipe, but when I went to my local butcher shop, they were kind of off-handed. I'm going to try another place. This place was kind of on uh, a far side of town, so I'm not sure if they're just getting ready to go out of business or whatnot. So I found another place that was actually recommended by a, a friend of my dad's. Him and his wife go there all the time. He used to be a butcher for Publix, and he just started his own business. So I'm going to try that out. Um, hopefully I'm going to do a first visit and then maybe the second time I go, I'm going to ask them to see if it's all right. Maybe if I film, you know, going in there and stuff, because we really should spot, um, support like local businesses like that, especially if there's butcher shops and I fully support anybody trying to find the best quality meat when it comes to this, because just like anything with whatever diet you're going into, you want to have the best product and you want to make sure you're getting the most healthiest product as well. So Another good update, uh, another video I'm going to do, my new butcher box should be here next week, so probably, hopefully, Monday when I do another weigh-in for the three-week mark, uh, I'm going to do another video of my new uh, butcher box that came in. Uh, another thing I'm going to do tomorrow, or probably Friday, uh, is I've been doing more research on intermittent fasting. Um, I'm going to go more into my personal experience with that. Uh, got into a little bit of a uh, disagreement with a uh, nurse professor at the college, but I'll get more into that on uh, Friday. I'm going to do some more research. Uh, I found some great resources and a great trainer. Apparently, he you know lives by fasting, and I'm going to bring up his information and uh, kind of come back to you guys. But uh, I'm going to end it there. I'm going to put the cooking video. Hopefully, I'm going to edit it in right after this. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Now the back here. All right, now it's working. Okay. Let's wash them. Make sure you speak out loud so they can hear you. Okay, we're going to wash it to get the bacteria off of it. Okay, and I'm melting the butter. Okay, and we're going to cut the wing. Right where it needs to be. Cut the skin right there. That way oh. you can see it better. Where is the little I'm going to throw away some of this other crap, you know, this whole bowl of candy we have. Uh -huh. 
I know they can hear me. It's okay. I told them that we're all on a diet. Hi everyone, this is my mom. She's going to be recording with us tonight. I hope everyone can see the shot. Preheat the oven to 350. Works best if you get a cooking tray and get one of these nice mats right here so when you place the chicken wings on top of them, they don't stick to the pan and they roast all the way through. You put some um, aluminum foil on there, it'll help. Oh, yeah, you're right. Collect the grease. Oh, Ow. Yeah. Where is that one? If you can't all tell, we're really professional cooks here, so this is going to work out really well. Mm -hmm. We'll just all bake it to Once the chicken wings are done, I'll add everything to them. We'll take the, the sticks, uh, the sticks, the um, tongs. Squeeze them up. It's done. Depends on the bone too, so I wonder if there's a way to figure out how to put music. Base them all first, that way once the seasoning goes on and we put them in the oven for the first round, it all coats in. So the rest of these, will you start to pour the salt and pepper in there, please?
Read a little bit. Spread them out a little bit. Two of them together. Get a little leg in there. Little leg. A little leg. A little wing. suckers in here. Make a little space here. Move over guys. <clears throat> Come on. Make a little space here. Let's cooperate. So this is about two pounds of chicken wings that I just picked up from Walmart too. Fresh on sale. And Only costs around eight dollars. And expensive and delicious. Sucker in there. Okay. Voila. Now these are gonna go into the oven. Pull these bad boys out, let them sit, pop a couple pictures of them, I'll let you guys know how they turn out. 